What to do, YouTube? MJ for Life here. Back again, bringing you another Gen 6 Wi Fi battle. This is the second of the day because the first one was kind of short and it wasn't really the best of battles, but this one it was a really good battle. So let's get into it against Tony from Game Fast. So he's going to lead off with his Hitmon Lee. I'm going to lead off with my, my Mammal Swine, of course. He's going to go straight for the high jump kick as I go for the Stealth Rocks. And I'm actually going to decide to save my Mammal this time because I saw he had a Gudra. He also has Gengar, which can be hit by, you know, hit pretty hard with the ice shard so expecting another high jump kick um, i'm gonna switch it to my trevenant but instead he goes for the bullet punch uh, now he's gonna go for the blaze kick but looking at the damage i can take two uh definitely three for full hp so i'm gonna go for the lead seed here actually not really expecting a blaze kick at all whatsoever i thought he might want to switch to his blaze again but uh since it, it, it's obvious that he's gonna stay in i'm actually gonna go for the will-o-wisp he f unfortunately misses that blaze kick but that miss really didn't matter obviously uh, because I can take another one, plus with the lead scene and the potential burn, uh, it wouldn't have been doing much after that. So, um, it is unfortunate, but it didn't really matter in the long run. Um and I'll explain that a little bit later. So now he's going to go into his blaze. Can I expect something like this to happen? So I'm going to go for the lead seed again, getting some more HP recovery with the leftovers and the lead seed, and getting back up to almost full. I think about 110 HP and less than full health. So now he's going to double. He's going to switch out to his Gengar. Now I switched out to my Talonflame because I'm thinking, okay, tip, since uh, most uh, Blazikins don't pack the Stone Edge, Talonflame pretty much walls Blaziken completely, especially the defensive one. Now he switched out here, and I'm thinking, okay, that that confirms that he doesn't have Stone Edge on his uh, Blaziken because he double switched expecting my talent flame into Gengar but actually and it turns out that he honestly really he switched because he didn't want the lead seat uh, damage to rack up on his Blaziken because obviously Blake, Blaziken is a huge threat which is why it's now been banned but that's going to come into play later so he's going to switch into his War Turtle War Turtle on my um, Tentacle unfortunately get burned up I mean I guess that is kind of a uh, frustrating hacks but honestly it didn't really matter because Trevenant can take on War, War Turtle one on one whether or not he was burned doesn't really matter as he's going to miss a Toxic again it's unfortunate hacks that's happening to him but it really doesn't matter again because I have rest I have um I have the uh I have the lead seed, and I also the burn doesn't matter because I could have just willow wished it myself, so that didn't matter because of that. Uh, and I can just rest off because War Turtle, War Turtle, sorry, it's so hard to say War Turtle. War Turtle cannot do anything to Trevenant, so had he hit that uh, that secondary blaze kick, all it would have done was basically force me to go for the rest, uh, maybe a turn earlier than I would have wanted to. Uh, that's all that really would have happened. Um, and I would have been back at full health and then switched out and been, been able to, you know, go for whatever move I want because of Natural Cure. And speaking of which, I think Natural Cure Trevenant is the best Trevenant. I don't know why people are so in love, infatuated with this substitute, leak seed, curse Trevenant. It's not even that good, honestly, in my personal opinion. It's so easy to deal with, especially because Talonflame uh, and other stuff like that, they can just uh, break the sub and then force it to switch out. I just think the, uh, the natural cure one is much, much better. So now here, he switches into his Blaziken after his War Turtle goes down. He's going to Mega Evolve, and he's going to go for the Stone Edge. And I was like, wait, what? And so this is where I found, this is where I was like, oh, he switched out because of Lead Seed, not because he didn't have Stone Edge. So obviously, um... And he also probably wanted to see what my initial switch into his Blaziken would be, uh, just so he could predict that next time. So now he's going to go, I'm going to go to my Kangaskhan, hoping he doesn't have the Protect, but he does have the Protect, so now I know his whole moveset most likely. But now I'm going to switch into my Trevenant, thinking, okay, he has to go for High Jump Kick, but he makes an incredible projection and predicts my Trevenant, and he's going to go for the Flare Blitz, but that's fine because that that damage that he did to himself to himself is going to play a big role, so I'm actually fine that, I'm okay that he went for the Flare Blitz. Now here I'm going to go into my Togeus. I should have gone straight for the, for the uh, Air Slash, really don't know why. I guess I expected maybe something like Gengar to come in, not the Hitmonlee. So I went for the Thunder Wave, but he goes into his Hitmonlee. So now I'm going to go into my uh, Tentacruel, expecting the Bullet Punch, knowing that my to Togekiss can take it. But I really need my Togekiss to be at full health for that Blaziken, so I really can't afford to have any extra damage on it. So I'm going to Rapid Spin the Spikes away. Didn't really matter, but, you know, it, it's, you know, it's something. He's going to High Jump Kick me. That does a lot of damage, even though he's burned. So I definitely think he's probably reckless, because that High Jump Kick was doing way, way too much. So now he's going to go into his Gudra, and uh, I'm going to switch out into my uh, Togekiss. Honestly, he could have gone for Thunderbolt, so I guess I don't know really why I switched into it. But um, now he's going to go for the Infestation, and I really don't know why he Infestation, because he has obviously Infestation Toxic. I guess it would have worn worn down my ten Tentacruel slowly but surely, but here comes the stally part of the match. Where he's going to go infestation, infestation, Toxic, Protect. The most annoying Gudra set you can possibly run, and I obviously sped this part up way, way, way. But basically, what I'm, my plan here was I, my Togus is going to go down. Unfortunately, I definitely needed it for Blaziken, so I'm really worried about the Blaziken. But what I want to do here is going to—I want to get to the point where I'm going to survive. I'm going to die, wish, and then die the next turn. So I finally get that to happen. I'm going to go for the wish here, as I'm going to die next turn. And basically, what this is going to do is give me a free switch to Mammal Swine, so that I can go for an Icicle Crash. Nothing on his team wants to switch into it, and then I can get my health. I can get uh, no a good amount of HP back and um, 
you know, be able to take on his Gudra for later, uh, be able to hit his um, Blaziken or his um, uh, Gengar with an Ice Shard, and more, more importantly, his Blaziken. I wanted the Ice Shard that to, to bring it down to a range where um, uh, King's Khan Sucker Punch uh, will KO. The reason why I haven't Mega Evolved King's Khan is because I, I, I can't touch Gengar without the Scrappy ability, so I really can't afford to Mega Evolve the King's Khan, especially with my. Um, Tentacle being so low now. Here is the crucial, crucial play of the game. I go for the Ice Shard on his Gengar, expecting him um, uh, because I really I really had to. I couldn't really switch. I mean, I guess I could have switched into uh, 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 Kangaskhan, but that would be risky because he could obviously go for the Focus Blast. Um, and uh, he goes for Disable instead of going straight for an attack. Now, maybe he did that because he didn't think that Gengar, because it's not Life Orb, uh, uh, may not even be the best IV, have the best IVs, maybe. Uh, it also is probably most likely timid. Maybe he didn't think a Shadow Ball would kill me because I was a bit over half. Memoswine does have some decent bulk. Um, so maybe he wasn't confident whether the, whether or not the Shadow Ball would kill me. Also, maybe he doesn't, maybe he runs uh, Sludge Bomb over Focus Blast to be able to hit Fairies. That's also possible. So his move set probably is Disable Sub, uh, Shadow Ball, or um, Sludge Bomb. If that's the case, then I guess it would make sense why he would want to try to disable me. Uh, I guess, but even still, he should have just went for Shadow Ball because what that's going to do is allow my Mammal Swine to survive when maybe it, it could have possibly been dead because he wasn't so sure that the Shadow Ball wouldn't have killed. And uh, he uh, he knows that he can take a, uh, an Ice Shard, but now this is really crucial because with the Stealth Rock damage, and uh, he's going to protect for no reason. I guess maybe he forgot that once your Pokemon switches out, that uh, Infestation is not no longer um, active. But his, that Ice Shard damage is crucial because that basically sealed the deal on the match. I mean, I don't know I don't know if Shadow Ball would have killed me because obviously if if I had gotten off an Ice Shard and Shadow Ball didn't kill, I would obviously then switch into switch in or just finish him off with uh, the secondary ice shard and then he's at a point where exactly the same thing would happen because at that point my king's crown could take on his gudra um so now i know that if seeing how much damage ice shard did i know a sucker punch will kill and basically the game is mine now because um he can't go for substitute so i can just get a free switch in the tentacle um he's going to try and substitute uh, just because he doesn't want to be hit with the sucker punch and now whether he kills me whether he doesn't i know i can take a shadow ball now so had he gone for focus blast or even two shadow balls or whatever um, he would have been, I would have been able to switch into King's Khan and finish him off with a fake out. But that's going to do it for the video of uh, the game. Good, great game. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Deuces.